Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mike Woods, the sweet science, and the ESPN.com and ESPN Flightbox. And that is Hank Lundy, and he spoke tonight at the Boxing Writers Association dinner, the Copacabana in New York City. And you are telling the audience how basically boxing really kind of saved your life, didn't it? Yes. Can you tell us about that a little bit? Because I always hear bad stuff about boxing, but I like to hear good stuff about the sport as well. Well, you know, growing on the streets of Philadelphia is very tough. You know, a lot of us could gravitate towards sports at the end of the day, but how many of us are going to stay there and actually ride it out? Now, me growing up, you know, I had sports, but if it wasn't for the, the sport, boxing, football, I could have been in jail somewhere. You know, the streets take over all our great our great warriors and champions of Philadelphia, you know. The streets are number one in there. So, you know, what I what I try to do is, you know, like boxing, I gravitated towards that. And, you know, it, it took me to a higher level, had me humbling myself, you know, staying out the street. And it's a different look, and it's a, it's a new start all over in life again. I gotta say, I root like I root for a guy like you because what boxing does for you, and also you're a really good talker, exciting fan friendly style. You knock people out occasionally. You get tagged in the chin. You go down, but you pop back up. Yes. Your kind of guy, I think, uh, should be in maybe some big title fights coming up. Now they tell me you do have a fight planned, July 27th yes. versus Raimundo Beltran on ESPN2 for the NABF lightweight title at resorts in Atlantic City. Tell me a little bit about Beltran. Oh, well, we know Beltran, you know, he puts me in the mind frame of, um, what's the kid name, um, um, Patrick Lopez, okay. a guy that's tough, you know, he's going to come forward, he's a former sparring partner of Freddie Roach, and you know, uh, I mean, not Freddie Roach, uh, um, Pacquiao, okay. and Freddie Roach is his trainer, but you know, in this fight, we're looking forward to put on the show for the fans and showing what Hammer and Hank is made of. Once again, they put me to the test again. You put a guy in front of me. I will never back down. The fans want to see the fight, they're going to get it. That's one thing about Hammer and Hank that you'll never hear. I will never duck nobody. Never duck nobody. And you call out some big names at, uh, yes. at uh, Lightweight over there. Who are some of those big names? And please feel free to talk to them right now. First. Because <laughs> I'm hearing that maybe some of these guys are mm, a little bit ducking you. What's up with that? Well, you know what? First and foremost, DeMarco. Antonio DeMarco, yes. I've been chasing after them, running after them. You know, I'm the number two guy in the WBC. And, you know, the last guy that just beat the Norris, you know, he wasn't qualified to fight him. He had no opponent for July the 7th. Why didn't you fight Hammer and Hank? I'm fighting any Why, and every Mr. DeMarco? Why? <laughs> I'm fighting any and everybody they put in front of me. What who else? Rios? Rios, I want him too. You that know seems like it'd be a fan friendly oh, battle. Broner. Yeah, I mean he struggled. he's he, 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 he struggled. He struggled with um Richard Abreu. I beat the living daylights out of Richard Abreu. But you know, at the end of the day, they can run and they can hide, but at the end of the day, the ring, you know, the ring, that's my territory and that's, that's where the truth will emerge? Yes, sir. They, can, they cannot run and hide forever. Is that yes. what you're telling me? Yes. Like I tell you, at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I got to do, and I'm going to keep on winning, and I'm going to expose these guys out there. Like I said, if you have a world title, don't run. Step up to the plate, defend your title. It should go back to the old time days. I'm more old school. If I have a world title, just like I have the NABF Hold title. Hold on, you're old school. That talks. Best yes. dressed man at this uh, boxing writer's dinner well, you, right here. You know what? Am I right, am I right ma'am? <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you like this. You got to dress for success. You know what I mean? Yeah. In and out the ring. I look good in the ring. Look good outside the ring. So, hey. Come on. Some of these big names. Give this Hammer and Hank a chance. He's a feel-good story. This is a guy who boxing is good for him. Boxing is good for him. And he's good for boxing a little bit. He's one of these feel-good stories. And I want to see him get a chance. So, uh, some of these champions. Why don't you give Hammer and Hank a call? Please. We wait. We only want to give you a number? Listen. Give your number. You should know. First of all, I'm from Philadelphia. 215. 215. Philly all day. <laughs> Philly all day. <laughs> Call him up and you know what he'll say. I do. I will take on the challenge. Hammer and Hank Lundy, thanks very much for the chat. Gotcha.